Hey there, drone fans. Rick here again with a quick comparison between the DJI Mini 3 and the DJI Mini 3 Pro. Both of these are some of the latest releases from DJI in their ultralight series, and there are slight differences between them. So next, I'll take a closer look at the Mini 3 and the Mini 3 Pro, explain the specifications so you can make a decision on which of these drones is perfect for your flying needs. The DJI Mini 3 Pro drone is the flagship drone in the ultralight series from DJI and weighs 248 grams, which means you won't have to worry about registering this drone with the FAA if you fly in the United States. There are two battery styles available for the Mini 3 Pro, the basic battery, which provides up to 34 minutes of flight time, and the plus battery, which extends that flight time to 47 minutes on a full charge. The Mini 3 Pro uses a 1 over 1.3 inch sensor, which can produce video recordings up to 4K at 60 frames a second, which is some of the best video available in a smaller drone today. Its transmission technology is based on OcuSync 3 from DJI, which provides an extended transmission distance up to 12 kilometers away between the drone and the controller. The DJI Mini 3 drone is part of their ultralight series and weighs just 248 grams, which means you won't have to worry about registering this drone with the FAA if you fly in the United States. There are two different battery styles available from DJI for the Mini 3, the basic battery, which provides up to 38 minutes of flight time, and the plus battery, which provides an astounding 51 minutes of flight time on a single charge. The imaging system in the Mini 3 is based on a 1 over 1.3 inch sensor, which can produce videos at up to 4K at 30 frames a second, which is amazing for a small drone like this. The transmission technology is based on a proprietary OcuSync 2 technology from DJI, which allows you to fly the drone up to 10 kilometers away from the controller. I hope those comparisons were helpful, and honestly, either of these two drones would be perfect for new flyers looking to join the hobby, or even experienced flyers that are searching for a smaller drone that's easy to take on vacation and still captures incredibly good images and video. Now, even though these two drones look similar and even share some of the same technology, there are big differences between them that I'll try to summarize now. The Mini 3 Pro is really an upgraded version of the Mini 3 and has advanced features and functions you won't find in this model. But having said that, they share similar technology. For example, the imaging sensor in both of these drones is based on a 1 over 1.3 inch sensor, but the difference is the Mini 3 can record video footage at up to 4K at 30 frames a second, where the Mini 3 Pro can record up to 4K at 60 frames a second, so better image quality on this drone. There are different transmission technologies between them. The Mini 3 is using OcuSync 2, whereas the Mini 3 Pro is using OcuSync 3. And what that means is this one can fly up to 10 kilometers, this one can fly up to 12 kilometers, so longer flight distance, better image quality. Interestingly, you can fly longer with the Mini 3 than you can with the Mini 3 Pro, and that's because there's so much technology in here, it's drawing more power out of the batteries, so it reduces your flight time. Another big difference between them, though, is that the Mini 3 Pro includes a lot of advanced crash avoidance built into the drone. So it's got front, back, sides, down. It's going to protect you from running into a tree a little bit better than the Mini 3. But again, at the end of the day, both of these drones are phenomenal products. They're going to provide a lot of fun in the air. They both fly really well, they're really stable, and can produce some incredibly good imaging and pictures. So hopefully you found this comparison helpful. I've enjoyed talking about them. So until next time, as always, stay nerdy! Thank you.